Start by connecting the RCA cables to the back of the DP500 turntable in the line-out sockets and slide the switch to line mode. Next, connect the RCA cables to the back of the speakers, connecting the red cable to the right channel and the white cable to the left channel. For external Bluetooth playback, be sure to set the pre-amplifier selector switch to the line position and briefly press the Bluetooth on and off button at the back of the panel. The DP500 turntable will automatically connect to your nearest Bluetooth device and the Bluetooth icon will stop blinking. To connect the DP500 turntable to a preamp, for example the Malky MP AMP1, first slide the rear switch to phono mode. Next, connect the turntable to the preamp and the preamp to the speakers by using the correct RCA cables and connecting them to the correct input and output channels. By using a preamp, you can individually set the input and output volumes for a better audio control. While lightly holding the head shell to prevent the tone arm from moving, unlatch the clamp and make sure the tone arm lift lever is in the down position. Insert the counterweight onto the back of the tone arm. Rotate the counterweight clockwise and anti-clockwise until you find the ideal balanced position where the tone arm is resting in a horizontal position. When you have found the ideal balanced position, firmly hold the counterweight in place and rotate the tracking force gorge ring to zero. Turn the counterweight and the tracking force gorge ring together counterclockwise until the centerline value matches the recommended tracking force value for your cartridge. The most popular record sizes are 45 RPM, which can contain two songs, and 33 RPM, which can contain one album. To set up playback for 45 RPM records, first place the adapter onto the spindle in the core of the turntable, place your record onto the adapter, and turn the speed dial to 45. For playback of 33 RPM records, you don't need the adapter, but make sure that you switch the speed dial to 33. If the speed dial is set to the wrong speed, this is what can happen. For music playback, first set the start dial to the start position. Remove the clamp on the tone arm, raise the tone arm lever, position the tone arm over the vinyl in the correct position and lower the tone arm. If you want to listen to the rest of the album, turn the vinyl around. If you want to skip or select songs with a 33 RPM record, first find the thick indentations which represent each song and lift the tone arm and place the stylus over the top. If you want to skip songs with 45 RPM records, then this is the way to do it because each side has one song. If you find that your record doesn't have a standard speed, you can use the pitch adjustment knob to set the pitch higher or lower. To avoid the stylus skipping over the record, set the anti-skate dial value to the same value as seen on the tracking force ring. You can stop the record manually by raising the tone arm lever and setting the start knob to stop, or by using the eject knob. Additionally, the DP500 turntable has an automatic record stop function. This can be set by pressing the auto return button on the back of the turntable. The tone arm will return to its original position when the last track has finished playing. The DP500 can be connected to your favorite door by connecting a USB cable from the back of the turntable to either a Windows or Mac device. By doing this, you can digitalize your favorite records and songs. Press the record button on the door and play your record. When you finish listening to your record, return the tone arm to its original position and close the safety lock. Carefully remove the vinyl from the platter and don't forget to close the lid to avoid any dust entering the turntable. To completely power off the device, press the on and off switch at the back of the turntable. 